Ta-da! Are you sure you're fine? Um... You know Sai. Oh, no. No. Of course, what's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during that whole affair, and... Oh. Right. So she... She didn't show up on the list of massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping that maybe you've seen it. So she's missing, so not quite dead. As much as I'd love to say that I had. Yeah, I figured as much. This is a bummer. I'm just gonna... Man, the air is suddenly a lot heavier. <laughs> I, I mean, I could tell her everything would be alright, but that would sound a bit condescending. Yeah. Stop talking in ellipses! It's, a, it's depressing. This is why people didn't take the squall very much. What does one do in this kind of situation? <laughs> maybe a joke? Nah, that'd be tasteless. Eh, maybe... Sad. It would be. Okay, just try and say anything. At least you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough. I don't think. Talk about how you had some of the thing that she gave her. Tell tell her about how nice her drink that she gave you was. Uh, there was a private eye here the other day. I. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit on edge. A private detective, I take it. Yeah, maybe you'll want his services. What's his name? Art Von Delay. Ah, oh, that art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look- Oh. And I- he didn't turn up any results because he's a schmuck who goes into bars expecting you to have the right information on the first try. So you still have hope? I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now and I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. Oh. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. He didn't seem like it when he was hanging around us. <clears throat> I believe he'll give me answers about Psy, whatever they might be. Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with the swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry, no, it's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just weird. Usually I try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. Talk. I'm glad to know that you have that much common sense at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? Something sweet that'll help calm me down a bit, and gladly. Sugar rush? Oh yeah, I need sweet. Let's, okay, Sparkle Star. That one looks like it could be fun. Brand Teeny. Uh. Piano Woman Moonblast? I don't think I've made this one very much. I think I made it once because I made a joke about it being absolute lunacy. But I think that was it. One. One. Two. I already put it on ice. And then... Blended. No, no relation to the Hadron Cannon you can see from on the moon for one week every month. Here. Thanks. Seems you really like Sai. I don't have brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So Sai is more than a friend to me. She is, like, family. Sorry I brought that topic up at a bad time. <clears throat> don't worry about it. 
As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. Oh. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level. But siblings usually lack that level of trust. What? Really? I have to deal with high-class high tools of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide under anything to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. But with Sai, I can be myself and do whatever I want, and vent all my frustrations. So what do you do, anyway? She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. Oh. Oh, calm down. You're... The... Uh... <clears throat> Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna take my break, and you could use some. Well, for a given value of fresh. I'm fine, thanks. Okay then. Gil, please service Miss Stella while I take my break. Sure, leave it to me. Break time already? Wow, that seems quick. Alrighty. Onward. It is now safe to keep playing. Oh man, it's chilly outside. I'm just gonna keep the... I'm bad, eh? What would you... <clears throat> what would a kid like you like know about that, eh? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Let's see. Detective guy comes in, cat boomer girl greets him, they start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Zaibatsu Corp offhand. I forget why we've heard that name before, I don't remember. Were they the ro- did they make the robots? I mean the Lilims? Yeah. After that, the guy got riled up and started badmouthing it. Oddly enough, he was he was the only one. She just carried on like it was a normal conversation. I see. Well, I won't deny it, Zaibatsu Corp is anything but innocent. When you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, if by enhanced you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around our necks. Speaking of things around our next nice scarf. <laughs> Can't you see those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? <laughs> I don't... is that a real nickname? We're just one big test group for them to use however they want. But then again, I don't expect that kind of... I expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. Oh, dude! Hey! Stop it! Oh, I guess. But, I don't know. You shouldn't just be dismissive of people like that. Just because their experience is different than yours doesn't mean it's necessarily invalid. True, I don't know, and true, I have a privilege that clouds my judgment. But, you can deny that the meddling of Zai Can you deny that the meddling of Zaibatsu Corp has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration program they started is making huge advances in the AI department. AI. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AIs as citizens. Yes, but we also hold the AI reformation program, meaning that we're also the world's Lilim prison. AI went rogue, transfer it to a delivery drone, or ship it to Glitch City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. <laughs> oh, that makes it exciting. Fair point. <laughs> Just always do carry out. Although that program has proven to reform many AIs, they don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Um, the city also has a stronger economy. Saibatsu's corpse success 
has, has made more and more companies bring their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just means more people who will plant their feet on your face. Ouch. But it can also mean more products are brought to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Uh, Saibatsu's Corpse Met- Sa I don't know why I keep- I, I don't know if maybe I'm just- pr I keep putting an S at the end of Saibatsu instead of waiting till the end of the word Saibatsu Corp. Core? Whatever. No, it would be Corp in this case because it's short for corporation. Medical Research Branch has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illness, pr illnesses, now I'm omitting S's. Look at me go. Previously thought incurable are being addressed every day. It's amazing for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down here we're experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there are also more jobs. All of the companies coming down here need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hey, you just don't... Don't just sit there. Give me a Zen Star. Sure. Is that the one that's four of everything? Yeah. Really, dude? I'm surprised that the philosophy tool didn't ask for that one. Why'd you order it? It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why would I say it? Or why else would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited to a few. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, they're still a luxury belonging only to a few. And even those can be accessed that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. That doesn't take away from the fact that there have still been positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Yeah, mature, whatever. Yeah. See, <laughs> I'm going to take the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but the least I can tell you is that you wasn't at the bank when it opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. Alright, so that sounds like good news. All the corpses are accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. It wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. Good. Now she's just missing. And you can work better with missing than you can with dead. Did you call him here? No, he just so happened to come here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It was like she vanished or something. Oh. I see. Thanks. Keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. I hope it's the last thing you lose, I guess. <laughs> if he's telling the truth, Sai might have found a way out. She's a resourceful, resourceful girl. She, she surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Um, just give me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. <laughs> On it. Better make them before I laugh too hard. Alright. Two Bronson. Four Powder Delta. Or... No. It's two, two, and four. I am silly. No, two, two, four, not two, four, or two, two. Oh, wow, I suck. I tried to correct myself by saying the right thing, and I'm, I'm, I'm omitting the fact that there are, in fact, four different ingredients, not three. All right, so that's one down. 
then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, four. Should I double this one? Sour, classy, and vintage. Oh no. What did I do wrong? Oh, I forgot to ice it. I suck. There we go. I remember this one party I went to. The guy came up, the guy that came up with the name of this drink showed up. Oh, did he? After people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to me though. I imagine a guy shows up and I tell. <clears throat> I imagine a guy shows up and tells you I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Are you okay, Jill? I'm <laughs> fine. Now that I think of it, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Vondelay? Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for a Crimson Rose. Or for Crimson Rose. Yeah. First of all, seriously, with uh, Stella's outfit, that sounds like a nickname that she would have. And she happened to be at the, um, what? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides, that's the last thing I'm worried about is with size, people. Why is that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle, she has no problem getting people on her side. It's a good point, she is very likable. And on the off chance that she has to defend herself, well... I once saw her take care of a war bot gone haywire by herself. She did need medical help afterwards, but she recovered no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? <clears throat> she's not only real, really physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Maga and... Okay, this is something I say about Krav Maga every time something brings up like any kind of martial arts. If someone tells me that they know that, it's just the the name of that particular discipline is one that just sounds like you don't want any part of it. Someone who knows it. My bad. Got into a little bit of a technical hiccup there. I do believe before my uh, thing kind of fizzled out, I was talking about how yeah, Krav Maga. That sounds like something I would run away from. And. Now that she's just describing all of those things that Stella can do, and the guy was looking for an assassin, and the ellipses here, I think I think we all just came to a realization. Something wrong? No, nothing. I just realized I forgot all about that. Sai's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. Like, maybe she's the Crimson Rose? I just hope she's well, wherever she is. She owes me an ice cream. <laughs> That's nice. Ice cream is wonderful. You want another drink, Mr. Vondelay? It's on me. Or Von you. Are you sure? Yeah, order away. Okay then, I'll have a piano man. And you, Stella? I'm fine, get his order. Blah, 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 piano man. I probably offended someone that I didn't just... I just kind of spit through the Piano Man. Or vaguely spit through the Piano Man words there, but... Well, offended assuming that people actually see these. Five powdered Delta. There we go. Uh, five Flannerjad. I almost forgot the Flannerjad completely. In the caramel shot, and I almost went to mix right there. Excuse me. Alright, that looks like everything's in order. Here you are. So, this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. Alright, I should get going. My contact will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. <laughs> 
hope your scarf gives you infinite ammo, dude. I'll let you know if I find out anything else, Miss Hoshi. Hoshi? Whatever. Please do. Alright then. You've been generous today. <laughs> he made my night with his discoveries on Sai's situation. She has a very nice smiling sprite. You'd think it would be hard to make the uh, Terminator eye actually seem genuinely happy there, but I'm convinced. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Thanks, this place is soothing. <laughs> Stella's really cool, I like her. I'll go sit over there near the arcades. Alright then, that'll be all, Dana. Quite a mess, the situation with, um, Robert. Uh, oh no. <laughs> That's really weird, why is their face popping up? You have a meeting in an hour with... with... MI6 Halsey? Okay, I was trying to see if there was like a funny little nickname for that, but I'm not coming up with anything. Right, right. Oh, if it isn't Mrs. Hoshi, or Miss Hoshi herself. Ah, Brian, fancy meeting you here. Oh, they know each other, that's cool. I didn't expect to see you here of all places. Or, well, I put the emphasis on the wrong word, you here of all places. Even though they're not telling me, but whatever. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? <clears throat> sure, no problem. Jill will be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Um. This holophone is an old model, so hanging up is a bit laggy. Oh. Hologram phone thing. Okay. Cass. You can call me Cass, by the way. I'm Jill. Say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. <laughs> I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone, and wouldn't you say it's more interesting that way? I do. It finally hung up. Phew, it's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm today. I have arrived yet again. Oh, uh, oh no. Oh no, it's, it's, uh, it is calm until now. Ah, uh, 